Hello and welcome to this video tutorial of OpenCart Advanced Booking and Reservation Reminder Add-on and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how to get the access token for the module configuration setting. So uh, to get the access key we need to go to the MSG91 website and we need to log in with our account that we have at the MSG91 otherwise if you don't have an account you can create one first and after that you can navigate to the access key section to receive your access key that can, you can make use in the module configuration settings thereafter. So what we'll be doing is we'll be going ahead and we'll be showing you how to get the access keys. So uh, for that we'll be navigating to the uh, MSG91 website first and after that we'll be showing you how to get the keys. So I'll just take you to the front end now. So uh, here we are on the MSG91 website and if you already have an account then you can log in to your account and go to the APK section where you can find your uh, access keys and uh, otherwise if you don't have an account you can uh, first of all sign up for your uh, for a new account at the MSG91 and thereafter we can uh, get our access keys. So what we'll be doing we'll be signing up first and we'll be generating our access keys thereafter. So to do so, we'll just click on this sign up button here and after that uh, you have to first uh, enter the name of your company and your email address so as to sign up. So here on the right hand side, uh, you can type in the name of your company and you can enter the email address uh, that you want to use to create this account at MSG91. And after that just click the uh, sign up button. If you wish you can also directly sign up uh, if you're already having an email address that is uh, associated with the Gmail then you can directly click on the sign up with Google button here and uh, it would ask you to uh, log in so here you can log into your Gmail account. And thereafter you can enter your mobile number as well and you can hit the uh, verify button there. After that you will be uh, receiving a one-time password on your registered mobile number. You need to enter that uh, one-time password here. And click the verify number button then uh, you can also enter the rest of the uh, information that is required there and you can also select whether you are, want to register your company or whether you are a developer or you're signing up for another company or whether you are uh, having this for the personal or non-commercial use so uh, you just need to enter the uh, company name and uh, you can also set up your company uh, username and uh, you can select your company's industry and you can select your role as well and you can hit the register button thereafter after that you can select the rest of the options that are there so uh, you can select the uh, respective uh, options And you need to enter some other information as well for example they've asked you what are you trying to do with communication api or if you are switching why And you can hit the next button and we've almost uh, created our account we just lastly need to uh, select uh, word of mouth and we can hit the enter your control panel button and we are being logged in to the MSG91 account now that we have created using our Gmail account there 
You can also fill your address and other details as well. Otherwise, if you want to complete them at a later stage, you can hit the proceed button. All right, it's mandatory. So we need to enter some other information as well. So let me enter the address. And the pin code. city state and I'll hit the proceed button thereafter so uh, you can also click on the uh, that you're creating uh, this uh, API for uh, for any other uh, for some other person there and after that you can find your account panel as you can see here and here from here you can go to the API section on the left hand side as you can see here API just need to hit that up and here you'll find your authentication key the default authentication key which is enabled right now and you can see the generation date and generated by user and here is the Bombardian company name that I had created this is just a, a demonstration purpose so I've just used this name so uh, so that was much about how to get the API key. So it was uh, just easy out there to get your API key. You just need to register yourself. And after that, you can get to your dashboard. And within your dashboard, you need to go to the API section. And here you'll find your API key that you need to use. You can also create uh, more uh, API keys by clicking the create new one. And uh, so, uh, uh, that was much about how to get the access key from MSG91 uh, website. So I hope it helped you out. And if you have any questions or uh, suggestions regarding this extension, then you can always get back to us at spot at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uedesk.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.